Hello, and welcome back to All About Genealogy. My name is Leslie. And I'm Marie. And this is our fourth episode in the series. And today we'll be talking about genealogy meetings, conferences, and club meetings, like genealogy club meetings. So you can usually find some kind of genealogy class uh, or club or even lectures by special guests uh, at your local public library mm -hmm. or a surrounding library. I know that we've got libraries around where we live and there's just constantly someone speaking on genealogy. I've actually done one myself on DNA uh -huh. and uh -huh. um, th we're actually members of a wonderful club with a bunch of great people doing the same thing. Yes. Research. Yes. We love them all too. <laughs> um, so um, it goes without saying that uh, usually every county mm -hmm. uh, has a genealogical society and they have some kind of regular meetings uh, that you can go to. Um, they uh, will start out the meeting with you know new announcements, you know things, new discoveries in genealogy. Um, there'll be refreshments. There's always refreshments, and they're always really good. I think some people will actually come just right. for the refreshments. Yeah. I know we have a few that... Yes, it's social time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, and then they have, uh, you know, maybe somebody from the, from the society will speak. But a lot of times they have um, uh, paid speakers who are experts in their field, mm -hmm. and they will come, and uh, they'll speak on their chosen topic. Uh, so those are just two places that you can go uh, for instruction. Mm -hmm. um, but there is a very special event that happens once a year. We, we can't wait for it. We're constantly talking about it and planning. Um, and those are your County Genealogical Society Annual Genealogy Conferences. I can't even tell you how awesome they are. I'm getting um, goosebumps talking I about know. it again because we had such a great time. Yeah, yeah, we did. We just got back from ours, and and we really look forward to it every year. And and most of the club members um, in our geneal genealogy club look forward to it as well. So Marie and I just came back from the conference, and uh, like I said, we had such a good time because where else can you find like 500 or so other people just like you who um, are interested in everything that you're interested yeah, in? Yeah, you don't feel so weird when you yeah. start talking about the fact that you love to go through graveyards yeah, and take pictures of headstones. Yeah. There are people that say, oh yeah, you know, I like to do that. Hey, did you check this one out? Yeah. And you don't have to explain it. I know, it's, it's, it's hilarious. Um, <clears throat> The, the conferences usually start at around 9 o'clock. They usually have uh, vendors, you know, in some kind of common area mm -hmm. that, you know, you can, the doors open at 8. You can come and, and um, uh, look at all the vendors' wares and stuff. But, but then the actual sessions will start about 9 o'clock in the morning. And um, the classes usually last about an hour. Hour, hour and a half. Right. And then there's 30 minutes between each session. And then... Um, you get uh, probably about an hour and a half lunch, mm -hmm. I think it is. So that and that's a nice break because you know they usually do door prizes and and things like that, and you know you could win things. And the and one thing that I like to do is I like to take those thirty minutes and take advantage of getting one on one time with the speakers, right? Because then you can actually talk to them with about a research hurdle that you're going through, right. you don't have to pay for it. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes. But you can pick their Sometimes brains. They'll, they'll hand you their card oh, yes. and say, why don't you drop me a line or give, mm -hmm. <laughs> give me a call? And then you know that that's, that's over with then. So, um, so like I said, you get like an hour and a half lunch and there's a lot of activities at lunch. The food is usually generally good. I know. It all depends on where you go though. Well, I know our society used to have um, the conferences at a different venue and when it got to the point where they were handing out box lunches for lunch um, I think the society just said bye-bye yeah. and now uh, and we booked at another venue and now the food is amazing it's amazing I it's went back so a couple of times for some seconds and I think yes. thirds yes 
Garlic mashed potatoes are my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> um, so then usually after lunch, there's two more sessions, two more hour sessions. And, you know, these things usually... Um, usually end uh, around 3.30 Three, four o'clock, or 4 yeah. o'clock, yeah. And so that gives you plenty of time to get home. And ours is always held in March, so it's still um, light out. That's you can, true. You can still you navigate can, your way home. And the other nice thing is that because it's in the early before spring, right. you may get some tidbits, tidbits that you can use in going out to cemeteries. Right. So right. the timing of that, I thought, was excellent. Yeah. Yeah. Pl we, excellent planning. We actually had a, a cemetery lecture, and um, well, I don't even want to go into that. Yeah. I'm, let's, not, let's, I'm not touching that with a tough football. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if you've if you've never been to one uh, genealogical society conference, try to go to one near you. Um, you don't have to belong to the county mm -hmm. genealogical society. You don't you know have to be a member, um, but you will pay ten dollars more than a member would, or so for for the conference. Um, and the speakers range from you know local lecturers to big league talent like Thomas McEnty. We love him. Yeah. Um, and uh, John Coletta uh, and Stephen Morse. We yeah, love him too. Yeah, that would be great. Yeah, we love him too. Um, and Diane Southard, the new up and coming. Uh, celebrity uh, DNA chemist. Yeah, I have not heard her speak. Oh, she's so good. I've seen I her, have. I think, a YouTube video. Yeah, but yeah. I've never heard, so she's, I'm looking forward to her. She's amazing. Um, and there's usually themes like census records, uh, German genealogy, Italian genealogy, Civil War, Revolutionary War. Um, County Genealogical Society conferences are never boring, never boring. Um, you have so many tracks to pick from, so many lectures to pick from, you'll never be bored. Um, and it's also a great place to network, these conferences. I think that's the second best part of, other than the vendor area, right. I think that's the <laughs> second, the, the best reason to go, because what you'll find, you may see someone um, that you've talked to before, or yeah you know, people that are researching similar things. And so you definitely have to take advantage of it mm -hmm. and get the best or the most that you can out of it. Mm -hmm. You meet the nicest people. They're, they're so nice. Mm -hmm. um, and of course, we talked about the food. The food. <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, ours is outstanding. Um, but, you know, I can remember a time like that old venue where, you know, they're shuffling out ham sandwiches like a deck from a deck of cards around the table. And I was like, <laughs> what's this? Um, so if you want to stay current, go to your county genealogical society yearly conference. Uh, it's a must. Or even if you are from a different area. Yeah. Find out when theirs are. Right. Because there you get the resources. You may sure. find out something new. And you make the connections with people who can help you in that county. Mm -hmm. That's always a really good thing. Um, so if you want to make lifelong friends and connections, um, you know, you can go a step further. You can go to their their weekly meetings mm -hmm. um, at the Genealogical Society. Um, they only only usually last a couple of hours, and they're um, very informative and again a great place to network. So get out there, be seen, and have some fun. It's fun. You may get a lifelong friend too. Absolutely, out of it. <laughs> absolutely. So um, remember to click the thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and, and hit the bell right. so you'll be notified when our new videos come up. Absolutely, and leave comments. We wanna know what you think and what, what you wanna see. Um, but just remember, if, if you, don't you don't have, have source, source citation, citation, it's, it's not, not genealogy. genealogy. Bye.